on the question i am not sure how i'll behave even in between when the uh, when i missed few games because of injury this and that and when i was watching national team matches from or uh, from home in delhi i was always jittery i was not relaxed so i am not sure uh, but i am not thinking about that right now uh, i will cross that bridge when i come to it uh, for now we just thinking about kuwait how do you see the future of indian football after your retirement very bright i'm really optimistic uh, a lot of fight for different positions uh, we did talk about the number 9 one where there are a lot of candidates who are doing well uh, unfortunately they don't play enough games in that position in 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 isl and in due time i hope that changes uh, but a lot of lo- lot of the attacking players are doing really well whether you take the two finalists you know the liston and the manveers or the bipin uh, vikram pratap or the changte or thapa playing as a number 10 or sahal all these attacking players they have done really well uh, we i do understand a number 9 is a very specific one but i'm pretty sure with the talent we have and with the hunger we have we'll get it we need to be a little bit patient when i say we i mean the whole country uh, but with the structure that we have uh, with the with this team that we have the camaraderie and everything i'm pretty sure uh, to start with a lot of boys are going to chip in and then eventually we'll get one international goals you scored he asks which one is your favorite and do you have any hollow feeling as you just missed the rare chance of scoring 100 international goals i will answer the second part first no i don't when i started i never thought i'm going to score these many goals at no point whether it was at 60 goals 65 goals 70 goals did i think or dream of scoring hundreds hundred of goals because it was never a part of of any planning any agenda or, or any dream i don't feel hollow i'm just very fortunate 150 games that's a number that i really love and i'm pr- i'm proud of 150 games playing 19 years for the country is is unique and uh, i'm just very fortunate privileged and happy about it as far as number of goals is concerned i'm just happy that i could score 94 times for my country not reaching 100 uh, it, it, it 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 doesn't bother me at all i've never thought about it to tell you my favorite goal it's difficult it's difficult and and uh, i will answer it but probably i'll change my answer in 10 days if you ask me again but the one goal that i that i can think of right now is the goal against pakistan i think that's one game that we played really well in bangalore when we had to qualify in the last edition last last edition of the asia cup and we defended really well and to score that goal in counter and jj's pass was was outstanding so that one goal comes to my head right now you said earlier that you were thinking about the decision for months so how long were you thinking about it i think i think it took quite a while every day i was i was fighting within me and try to analyze stuff and you know i'm try, i was trying to think more holistically when the instinct came it was so individual it was so narrow you know it was so selfish if i can say it because i was just thinking about myself but then i took time and i was thinking about everything and eventually i came to this decision and it 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 wasn't easy and it took some time but now when i'm talking to you i can tell you i'm i'm in peace and i think i took the right decision and uh, yeah and now i i i only have gratitude playing for 19 years 150 games is is extraordinary and i know this whole press conference is all about me last two days has all only been about me but i'm doing this press conference only with the hope that we finish it today from tomorrow it's just normal about the national team and about kuwait enough of sunil chetri and enough of his retirement things i got a lot of adulation in the last two three days my phone has been off because of the number of messages and calls i've got i feel myself as very fortunate but i hope you understand that from tomorrow it ends and and we just talk about kuwait and our and our qualification uh did you have a chat with virat kohli uh, after uh, before taking the retirement decision yeah i did i think 
one i did it because we are quite close now we speak but also importantly i importantly i we talk about these things because i think we both understand the next person the other person will understand it exactly the way it is so the ups and downs of sports this part of retirement uh when we chat we do understand that the other person understands it uh so yeah i did speak to him and i wish him all the best for 18th uh what was the discussion like with uh, steamatch regarding your retirement was there a consideration for you to play on until the qatar game uh, in on june 11 no because when i when i went to him he understood there is a he understood when i went to him and talked about it and he gives me and a lot of players a lot of freedom about expressing ourselves he knows how how badly i want to play for my country even when in some games he substitutes me on 70 minutes rightly because he can see better i'm never happy and uh, he knows whether it's a foot volleyball in training whether it's a five a side whether whenever he wants me to rest because of my age and i don't like it and i play he knows how badly i i i want to play even times when i should rest i don't so when i did go to him and i told him that this is going to be my last game he understood he was uh, also because he is a player he understood it so it was a nice very short chat he understood and he said okay let's make sure we all come together and let's make sure that we win the game for for the country on the 6th so he knows that we have built a team in 5 years a lot of players who will do well when i'm not there people are going to fill in and and i'm and i genuinely mean it and we'll see it the team is rightly poised at the right place every position has two or three players who are doing well sadly we have some important injuries right now i don't want to start taking names but a mishra a rashik or a, or a jingan who have been here for a longer time are important to us uh, but all the places have uh, two or three options and all of them are doing really well so we'll be fine uh, how do you want to be remembered by the future generations and fans a very good looking and hard working play think because see these questions now i think about it a lot of time before when they ask me what what's going to be a legacy i i never paid any heed but now when i think about it the the, the one legacy or the one thought that at least the footballers who come after me when they remember me they should think that he was a hard working person and and that pays off 150 games for the country because of the hard work a lot of other attributes are important for a player to do well but if there's one thing that i want to leave behind me that you got to work really hard of course and the most good looking player also about your plans after uh, international retirement june 6th is when i retire june 7th already said uh, we'll spend a lot of time crying from june 8th i will try and relax and and take an off there was a 10 days off in between after my last isl game but i did poorly because i got chicken pox and my wife and my kid are, are are annoyed at me my wife more so because i gave her also the chicken pox so after june 8 i will take a break uh, i want to stay with my family and then from july first week we'll start our preseason with bangalore fc 10 15 days post afghanistan game i think i don't know the exact date but that's the time when i start thinking thinking as to after the instinct of course uh how i feel physically what are our next goals what is going to happen to the national team what are the matches how does it look all these things uh taken together and hence i i came to the to the decision you know i i i i i don't know how how you will understand it but also one of the thing that internally i always had and i think few of you here would understand what i'm saying next is it is of prime importance to me that i bring value to the team sometimes it might happen because of who i have become that i'm still carried by the team and that is something that i never wanted 
the way you gaze it is in training uh in terms of numbers when it comes to you know our gpss in terms of what i bring to the table so i always wanted uh, at least for my national team that it doesn't matter 15 14 13 12 years 100 games till the time i'm here i i i add some value uh when you are at your prime and doing well you add more value when you are not in that much of form you bring less value but it keeps going but now i i i i came to a, a stage where i really wanted to leave the national team and i know i'm leaving it in a very nice way because there are so many players who are going to do well and that was always something that i wanted and i'm i'm really happy that 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 this is going to happen i hope there's still 14 days and i and i make it to the first 11 and uh, yeah and, and i just and it's it, it's outstanding it's a great feeling for any player if you ask that he brings value to the team uh so that was also one of the reasons of of my thought process and what is your message to the next generation out of whom some of whom who wants to be like you so what does it take to be me mate it's a it's a 10 hour movie man a lot of things that i a great family a great surrounding an extraordinary wife some outstanding friends amazing teams that i've played with amazing coaches that i've trained under a lot of people have worked really really hard for me to achieve whatever little more that i've achieved and it is not a favorable speech it is not me trying to make everyone happy it's a pure fact a lot of people behind the scene work tirelessly hard for me to do what i've done whatever little or more that i've achieved is because of a lot of people so yeah so if you want to if you want the recipe we talked about hard work uh having the gene of mr kb chetri and sushla chetri helps and then having an outstanding team having outstanding people around you helps uh and yeah that's the recipe you had spoken about wishing that your boy was a bit older so that you could uh, he so that he could experience these moments with you uh so in the future when he's old enough to realize the grave value of those moments what would be the one moment you will tell him about i hope that's if he thinks that i added value you know youngsters man uh if it does ask me you know what dad you did well and and then tell me about something that you did well then i think at the top most would be that i've played 150 games for my country and to be honest if he asks me or if he doesn't if anyone wants to know or if they would want to know no one can take that away from me that i have played 150 times for my country and i'm extremely proud of it i am extremely i know i'm 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 fortunate i'm privileged but i'm so proud of it and no matter what happens tomorrow no one can take that away from me so if my kid asks me i will tell him about this 150 games asked you about your toughest opponent you have uh, played for, against for india which tournament would you consider as the toughest and why oh, see tough means tough has many meanings tough also means a very important game that we had to win tough means that we were doing we were all right and then we we i'm just giving a pretext but tough in genuine tough means where we had no clue as to what was going on and we got battered i think it was 4-1 korea and if you ask that batch they will tell you asia cup 4-1 when that that we lost against south korea was one game where where i thought what is happening you know generally you feel that stuff you feel that you you are the underdog you feel that you have to defend 90 minutes and stuff like that but that was one game we had no clue what was happening so toughness in terms of, of what's happening in the game i think south korea in the asia cup was was that game thank you so much for the 19 years guys just a small request make sure you show the same love same affection same interest 
same questions to everyone and everything beyond me for the national team. Because one thing is for sure, what I want and what you want for the national team is the same.